What's up adventures? Anna here and today I plan to do cardio and abs with you guys but um, I'm feeling slightly under the weather for the going down with the cold so the cardio will be quite gentle and for most of the time will be on the floor so if you want more vigorous cardio uh, scroll through my YouTube channel there are cardio workouts there or go for a little dance little run so do your own cardio if you want something more intense okay so we will start I have uh, <laughs> my phone is uh, out of charge and I have this prehistoric uh, timer, interval timer with me, which I used 10 years ago, back when I just got into interval training. So I'll use this little guy instead of my phone. Uh, 45 seconds rest, sorry, 45 seconds work, work, 15 seconds rest. Okay, we'll start our first cardio interval by lifting the knees, hold the core, brace the core in nice and tight. Use your breath. So all our cardio will engage your core, okay? So get into the habit of squeezing it, squeeze it, squeeze the belly. Exhale, really exhale because you got you'll have stitch otherwise. All right, nearly there. If you want a bit more cardio, you want to get a bit more jumpy here, you can add a little hop. I'm not, because the cold is getting the best of me. All right, well done. All right, next up, get your um, fingertips at your ears. Twist, twist. Get the knee towards the elbow. So keep the fingertips where, where they are all the time. So don't do this. Okay, na na na. So elbows are high. You don't need to re. Uh, you don't need to actually attach your elbow with your knee. Go for the twist. So feel the muscles warming up here. A little twist. A little twist. I can feel it already. But I taught a class today, and I will be teaching one more later on. So squeeze, squeeze everything here. Twist and twist. If you feel any discomfort in your lower back, reduce the major motion. Ah, release. All right. Running man. So get uh, get into like a running position, and we will uh, move the arms and lift the knee. So as you're lifting the knee, squeeze the core. So you're not just lifting the knee; you're squeezing. Keep that other. Uh, knee soft and all your weight is on that supporting leg. Keep moving the arms, squeeze the belly, look in front of you, you can feel it in your hips as well, raise the core, 15 seconds left, move the arms, A little wobble, come back to me, and well done, shake it off. Feel free to hydrate whenever you need to. We will do it, uh, the running man on the other side. So, core engaged, let's go. Squeeze the belly, move the arms. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Keep the chest tall, try not to round the back. Chest high. Stay with me. What is it, 10 seconds? Oops. And well done, well done, all right. Last one, before we go on the floor, get your feet slightly out, bend the knees, fingertips at your ears, and we'll do four crunches 
three and four. One side and four crunches. Squeeze it here. The other side. So you want to feel the stretch on this side and a little squeeze on this side. Really hold the belly in nice and tight and keep the chest tall. So avoid this. Yeah. Keep the elbows out. And lift the belly, engage the glutes as well. So you'll feel it in your legs a little. If you want more, you can get into that lower plie. One, two, three, and four. Two, three, four, and three seconds to go. Two, and three, and four. All right, team, we're going on the floor. If you want, you can have a weight with you, light, light to medium weight. Okay, on the floor you go, uh, press your lower back to the floor, so curl the table, tailbone slightly up, hands behind your head, good, lift the knees, and we will go three, two, one, lower down, pulse up, 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 lower down, up, 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 lower down. Up, keep the elbows out and your lower back on the floor at all times. Up, 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 lower. Up, 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 and down. Up, up, up. Now, if you want to make it harder, you can extend the legs, still keeping the lower back on the floor, and you'll see the difference it makes. Oh, saved by the bell. Draw the knees towards the chest. Uh, so we'll take a round of straight legged um, bicycle crunches, but with straight legs. So we draw the elbow towards one leg and switch and switch. So really controlled, no rush, lower back on the floor. Now, guys, if that's too much, you can tap the floor with one foot and the other. If that's too much, keep your feet on the floor and do diagonal crunches, okay? These are your modifications. If you're doing the whole thing, join me right now for the straight leg miracle of an exercise. Oh, right. And well done. Draw the knees towards the chest for a minute. Uh, for the next one, you can take a weight, it's optional. Take the weight in your right hand. Make sure the weight is light and uh, extend the arm, extend the left leg, right knee bent. So you reach with the right hand towards the left foot and lower. Because there is a weight in your hand, the arm doesn't go on the floor. So just bring it back, squeeze. Lift the shoulder blade on the floor. One of my favorite exercises for obliques. You must have seen it in my workouts before. It's just because I like it very much. And you can make it as hard or as easy as you want. It's all about the weight you use. And you can also extend that other leg on the floor, make it even harder. Oh, okay. That's us on that side. Take a little break. Ooh, we're going to do the other side. So take the weight in your left arm. Extend the right leg. Extend the left arm. And reach. So it doesn't really matter if you touch that foot with that weight. Let's try to get the shoulder blade off the mat. Gently holding the back of your head. Making sure your neck is happy and supported. Reach. Extend. Strong leg, controlled movement, so the leg doesn't rest on the floor, doesn't even touch the floor. Really controlled movements of that arm, especially if you're using the weight. Less is more to begin with, and then you'll build up. Lower back on the floor, guys. Squeeze. And well done. Release. Okay, where are we? So this timer actually showing me how many intervals left, and we have two left. So we'll do a round of Russian twists. 
bring your feet on the floor, lift the chest, lean back. So option one is like Charlie's Angels uh, fingers and we twist one side and the other. It's really important here to keep your chest tall. Don't round your back, yeah? Option two is to get your weight and do the same thing with the weight. Really controlled, so no momentum, no, uh, no any sudden movements. Yeah, so really nice and slow and controlled, all the belly in. Ooh, if you need a little reset, come back and then start again. And well done, well done. All right. I will do one more exercise for obliques. Bring your uh, feet on the ground uh, and touch the right heel with the right fingertips for four times, just like we did standing up. Change sides, left, three, two, and one. And again, you can bring the heel slightly closer to your butt, which will make it easier. Four, and other side. Two and three and four. Keep the lower back on the floor. Three, four and one. And to squeeze that obliques. Three and four. It's not about actually touching the heel, it's about squeezing that. Three, two and one and one and two and three. And four, yay, and that's half my friends. Draw the knees towards the chest. Rock side to side. We'll take a little stretch here. Open the arms out on the floor. Uh, what? One more interval? No. Ha, one more interval. Hang on, Helen. <laughs> right, let's take basic crunches. Up. 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 I could have pretended that that interval wasn't there. But it's there. Let's see it through. Keep your lower back on the floor. Up. Few more basic crunches. Never killed anyone. Squeeze. Squeeze. Elbows out. Elbows out. Neck relaxed. Squeezing that abs. Almost there, guys. Almost there. And this is our. Yes, yes, that's my timer says that. It was our last interval, now it was the knees towards the chest. Uh, I slightly misjudged the amount of space that I need, so open your arms out on the floor and lower the knees, both knees to the right side. Try to keep both shoulders on the floor, left shoulder on the floor. Breathe deeply. And lift the knees back up again and slowly lower them down on the other side. Just move a little. Right, try to keep your right shoulder down on the floor. And lift, lift your knees back up. Good. Now flip on your tummies and take a sphinx stretch, elbows on the floor, draw the elbows back, uh, draw the shoulders back. Don't lift your chin, uh, just uh, keep your neck neutral, okay, don't look up. Instead try to push the chest forward and shoulders back. If you have any pinch in your lower back, it's uncomfortable in your lower back, walk your elbows forward, okay. If you want to go more, push the hands into the floor, draw the shoulders back, keep the elbows contained. So not like this, but drawn to the sides. Push the chest forward. Again, if, you, if there's any uncomfortable sensations in your lower back, lower the elbows down. Never push through the pain. And make your way Back into child's pose, bring the knees apart as wide as your mat, big toes together, plant your bum on your heels, slide the hands forward. And 
Good. And walk your hands back. Now take a cross leg seat if that's comfortable, or any seat, any comfortable seat. We will stretch to the side. Slide your right hand away from you. Reach your left arm up and over. Draw the right shoulder away from your ears. I don't know what's right and what's left anymore, to be honest, because I'm trying to mirror. And I don't know what the camera does about it. Sometimes cameras mirror back, sometimes they don't. So either way, don't worry too much about right and left. We'll do both sides anyway. And other side, slide the hand away from you, reach. Feel the stretch in your side body, draw the shoulders back. Try to keep your both hips on the floor, especially that hip. Let's say bone. And left, and let's take a twist. Inhale, reach the arm up. Exhale, twist. Sit nice and tall. Slightly draw the belly in. And release. Let's do the other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. And release. All right, my friends. Well done, everyone. If you want more, you can repeat that sequence. If you don't want cardio, you can skip cardio and just rewind back to the floor exercises. And uh, well done, well done. It's lower body tomorrow. This blue light is really unkind. <laughs> really unflattering. Uh, so well done, everyone. And let me know how you're getting on, okay? Let me know if you started already. So I'm getting feedback from some of you, but the rest of you are quiet, which means, are you with me? <laughs> how are you getting on? Are you liking it? Are you hating it? So let me know. And thanks so much to all of you who are actually coming back to me and giving your feedback. So thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. And I'll see you soon. Well done.